key aim of the centre is to explore contemporary developments in the world of work, particularly the impact of digitalisation on work and how work is changing. This is a very pertinent debate at the moment. There's a lot of academic and also policy interest in how technology is changing the world of work. But far too much of this debate is based on speculation and hype and perhaps extreme visions of what may happen in the future, be that radical job loss or potentially the reverse. Um, so a key aim of this centre is to provide a solid empirical base uh, and also to develop some the theoretical ideas around the connected worker and what it means to be a connected and also potentially a disconnected worker in the new world of work. So two, two aspects of the research programme over the next five years will include a large-scale employer survey and also some work looking at um, new issues of voice and representation amongst platform workers. So in terms of the employer survey, we're looking to do a large survey of, of employers, a nationally representative survey, that will really interrogate the reasons and motivations for why employers introduce technology and also how they use it and what the outcomes of this are for businesses. In terms of the work on new representation and voice, this builds on some recent work we've been doing for the European Parliament, which looks at social protection in the platform economy. So when we talk about uh, the platform economy or platform work, we're looking at the way in which technology is really reshaping the way in which people access work and the way in which people do work. So at one level, even within established companies, the way in which work is organised is increasingly through online forms of mediation. Uh, workers can log on to an internal server and work out what teams they're working in, what types of work they're doing. But also researchers are looking at uh, platforms that may arrive from the outsourcing of work from main companies and this is more of a global economy. Um, so workers would use sites like Amazon Mechanical Turk, although there are more highly skilled types of jobs as well. And workers would use this to search for jobs. There are jobs advertised on these sites. Workers search for these jobs, often bid for them, and then undertake work, which could be a project work or it could be very short term work. Human intelligence tasks can often be a matter of seconds and you get just a few cents. Uh, you're self-employed, you have no social protections. So there's a big debate over the terms and conditions of these types of workers. So one of the aspirations of Digit is to really act as a focal point for those interested in researching digital technologies and the future of work. And to support the research community in this endeavour, we are going to establish a data observatory which essentially will act as a repository that uh, external researchers can access to get up-to-date data on all things related to digital and the future of work. And also an innovation fund which is going to offer a variety of seed corn grants so researchers can get funding to develop new and novel research projects. Mm -hmm.